Hello everyone, it's me Ellie from Xexpress Themes and welcome back to the video tutorial of Blogger Theme. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can configure or select home page layout as you can see in our Blogger Theme. We provide various home page layout. Currently, you will be finding in our demo version, a uh, demo site. It is in the full width with the sidebar home page sidebar layout currently. Uh, you can also have your site in boxed form or you can also have your sidebar not show on your home page and only have your feature only have your post show on the home page you have some of the options which I'm going to show you in a while by logging in to the back end of the site and also I'm going to be showing you how to configure the sidebar contents as you can see here like this about me and this recent post and everything well these are to be done from widgets and I'm going to show you how you can do that so let's get started with the configuration so log into your WordPress account then go to appearance and then click on customize as I have told you blogger is a customized based theme so first thing uh, we will do is we will select a home page layout for this you need to go to this design settings go there here you will find home page layout click on it and you'll find three layouts provided that is full width grid view and full width with sidebar so right now I have uh, activated full width with sidebar thus your site is appearing full width along with the sidebar if I do this then let's see what change it will show it will show your full width site without sidebar as you can see without sidebar only with the post and if you check grid view then your site will have full width and your all the post that was showing on your home page will appear in a grid form in like this three columns with title and everything without sidebar so if you want the layout of this theme as in our demo site like this then you need to select full width with sidebar so that you can have some of the contents on your sidebar as well and let's save and publish now after selecting a proper home page layout if you have selected full width with sidebar then you you would want to add contents on your sidebar so if you want to make as in our exactly as in our demo site I'm gonna show you how you can do that go back to your dashboard and go to appearance and widget but before doing any configuration on widget make sure to have installed all the plugins that are recommended with this theme as you can see in our documentation in rec requirement you will find these plugins that are to be required by this theme to work properly as in our demo site so the notification will also appear after you install and activate our theme just on the notification bar you just need to do is uh, click on being install uh, begin installing right now I have installed all the plugins thus the notification is not appearing and you can see all the plugins are appearing here so as in our as in our sidebar we have also included Instagram uh, this is why I'm, I'm saying you that you have to install all the plugin so after doing all that you need to go to appearance and then click on widget and open your widget window now well these are the widgets and these these are the widget area right now it is uh, we have to configure is this right sidebar right now here is some unnecessary widgets that is showing so I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna remove all these widgets I'm just gonna remove all these widgets and then start by adding the widgets that we have added in our demo site okay now we have removed all the widgets from right sidebar and let's get started by adding a widget that is the first widget that is, is about me if you want your site to have your small description about you then you can have this uh, blogger author widget here so I'm just gonna click it and drop it there now you'll find number of uh, configuration setting thing here where you can put your page title like display the page title if 
left empty and for this widget to work you need to make a about us page so for now let us just save it and let us make a about us page you need to go to pages and click on add new now you can put your page title generally it is about us or about me anything like that and you can put your description here about yourself I'm just gonna get my dummy description and after that you need to set a feature image it's like your picture so set a feature image the best image size is 840 by 840 pixel now after it is set you need to publish this page okay the page is published now you you can go back to widgets and let's refresh this once again now expand this widget you can put your page title since we already have it uh, we won't have to put any page title here then you will need to choose the author page which is about me then you can also uh, fun fact is you can also have your own signature image uh, show here so you can upload your image from here and then you can also put your social media links like for example for Facebook you can put your link here I'm gonna put the link of my company just copy it and paste it there similarly you can put other links as well I'm just gonna put hash you can put your related link there okay now let's save it now let's go to our front end and see how will this appear on the sidebar so this is the front end of our website and you can find here about me page with uh, your picture description and your signature along with social media links so the next widget that we're gonna uh, put on our right sidebar is recent post so let's close this and you can find blogger recent post here you just you can just click and select the widget area as well add it there you can put your title and you can put the number of posts you want to show there I'm gonna put three you can also have the option to display post image now let's again go back to our front end and check it so your recent post will appear as such Now the next widget I'm gonna be placing there well, let me check our demo site like how we have done it we have used this Instagram widget so what we have to do is let's close it now let's put so before putting uh, before keeping Instagram widget first make sure you have installed this Instagram feed plugin from Express themes and uh, configure all the settings there and after that you will have this widget over here you need to put Instagram machinery just click on add widget and then put a title uh, since you have already made the configuration on the plugins uh, conf settings you won't have to do anything here so you can just put any title and you can select the layout and click on save now let's go to our front end again it will show my Instagram feeds because uh, I have already configured the plugin so make sure you configure plugin nicely alright so it will show your photos as such now the next widget I'm gonna be putting there is this category widget so to do this 
you need to find this category widget which is right here put it there you can put your title like categories you can also show post count or display as drop down or show hierarchy I'm gonna be uh, enabling this show post count as this is how we have done in our demo site as well now let's save it and let's go again front go to the front end and check okay now let's see so it will appear as such with your categories title and all the categories that you have made in your site and it will also show the number of posts you have in there so this is how you can configure your home page layout along with and to configure the sidebar home page sidebar I think I forgot to tell you something in customize you have these three layouts for home layout option you can also have your web layout which is a main uh, layout of your site that is if you want in your in if you want your site in box layout or full width as I have told you it is in full width right now but if you select box layout then it will have a small space like this so if you like the look of your site as such then you can select this but I prefer it to be full width full width so I'm selecting this one and save and publish so these are the home page layouts you will get with blogger and this is how you can configure your right sidebar that is home right sidebar and show your post as well as show some other content at the same time on, on the home page so I hope this video is helpful to you in configuring both the part and doing all the configuration that you can do with home page and if you have any confusion then you can always refer to our online documentation where we have it in title wise form all the process of doing uh, all the process of doing what I did in this video tutorial so if you, uh, also you can comment down below if you have any queries related to blogger theme and I'll reply to you as soon as possible or you can contact our support team you can get details from here or you can talk to me in the chat and I'll try to I'll try to help you as much as I know so thank you very much take care